Hi Marie, how are you doing today? Good. You doing well? Good. In the, over the last few sessions, we've talked about the needs in reality therapy, mm -hmm. uh, like the need to survive and the need for uh, love and a feeling of belonging. Yes. How has that been progressing? Where do you feel like you are now? Um, I understand all that. I mean, I at my job now, I feel like I belong there, and you know, I'm, I like my job. You know, I want to advance. Um, right now, I just feel like maybe I need to kind of work on. Um, I know I kind of want people to recognize my my talents and my skills. Specifically at work. Yes. So, kind of like the need for power. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've I've been there five years and I've proven myself, and I feel like they just don't recognize my abilities and my skills. Um, I just applied for a promotion, mm -hmm. and you know, a couple other coworkers applied, and I think I deserve it. I've been there. All right. So you're saying that they're not recognizing your your skills? I don't think they do. No. And this is distressing you. Sure. Yeah. So. Remember we talked before in reality therapy, the uh, belief we have, the belief we go under, that it's most useful to focus on behaviors you can directly control. And you can't really control whether they behave in a certain way or not. Does that I make sense? Not. Yeah, I guess I can't make them recognize my abilities as much as I want to. Mm -hmm. No, I can't. You could behave in a way where you could increase that probability. I guess. I mean, I try. I do. I try to play by the rules and, you know, get to work on time and do extra things and, and I try to pick up overtime. So I try to get them to recognize that I'm, you know, doing good and I like my job. But it hasn't happened there. I don't know. I don't, it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel like no. it. So, what could you do to meet that need of power? Do you have any ideas? Well, I mean, I look at my coworkers, the ones that, you know, applied for this promotion, and, you know, I see they, you know, sometimes come in late, or they take longer breaks, you know, they're always going down the, the snack machine, or go to have a cigarette break, and I don't do any of those things. So, it's kind of frustrating that, you know, what if they get the promotion over me and I feel like I've done so much more and my work ethic is so much better. So, you know, sometimes I feel like just going to my supervisor and saying, hey, do you know that, you know, they've kind of taken longer lunch breaks or kind of keep track of the times that they've taken breaks where I've stayed and worked. All right, so the way you're thinking of getting power would be kind of moving some of the competition out of the way by pointing out wrongdoing or... Sure. I mean, I don't sure. want to throw them under the bus, but at least maybe I would be, my efforts would be more recognizable to, to my supervisor, I think, sometimes, if they're not there. So let's talk about that choice. So that's a behavior, certainly, you can, you can do, you have control over that. Mm -hmm. But is that a, is that a harmless behavior? Is that is that one that is positively oriented, which is kind of also one of the areas of reality therapy, or the, the behaviors that you engage in don't harm anybody else and they're positively oriented. Do you feel that matches up well? No. Does it? It's probably not good to throw them under the bus. No? Mm -hmm. Do you have any other areas you can control where you could still advance your career without having to um, mention your coworkers' indiscretions? I, mean, I have been thinking about taking some classes, maybe um, like on supervision or you know, something to advance my, my knowledge and, and my level um, of authority at job. Like if I want that promotion, then maybe I could go take a class on, you know, administration or you know supervision something like that um, even like anger management take some classes that I know some other supervisors in you know not necessarily in my area but other areas that I know I hear people 
taking classes, and they offer classes, so I guess I could take some classes and show them that I'm really serious about it, this promotion, and I want to better myself even more. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I guess that's a possibility. Is that uh, more appealing to you than the other path? I mean, it's appealing, definitely. The other seems quicker and easier, but this definitely, I guess I would be um, something I could do for myself, and at least I'd feel probably a little better if I... So you could become more accomplished, you'd have more education. Sure, yeah. Yeah, because even if I didn't stay at this job, I guess I could take that education with me. Right, it could open up opportunities other places. Mm -hmm. So the one path kind of, in a, in a manner of speaking, harms people, you know, by mentioning what they've done wrong. But it really doesn't help you develop as a worker, as an employee. But your other idea, the second idea of education, you're kind of advancing yourself and building up your own skills. Yeah, so I guess it really doesn't matter what they do. If I just continue to advance and you know take some classes, I guess I would. So it would help me out. Yeah, and it's a behavior you can, you can control, and it's mm -hmm. positive. Education's we generally think of education as good and positive. Sure, it is. Right, so you would feel more powerful, more accomplished, and you could do that. You could accomplish that without having to. Uh, minimize anybody else. So it might, maybe that's a route to take a look at. What do you think? Is that is that a route you could fall through with? I think so now that you kind of compare the two ways that I'm thinking. Yeah, I could definitely do that. So one of the things I'd like to do um, is to have really clear and specific goals. Okay. So it sounds like the educational route is something that makes sense to you, yes. something you can do, something you, you'd like to pursue. What would be the first step in moving forward with education, with the, with the plan you have? Well, I can, um, I can go down to Human Resources and look at the list of classes they offer, and mm -hmm. we can take, there's certain classes that are free anyway, they offer every month, so I could definitely sign up for it at least one class and see if it's you know beneficial. All right, so let's start there. That's that's clear and specific. So you look at the, like there's a, a list of mm -hmm. the classes? Yeah, there's a list of classes that are offered. And say you select one mm -hmm. that you feel is closely tied with your goal, mm -hmm. your need, um, and your goal for power. And sign up for that. Mm -hmm. What kind of time frame would you need to accomplish that objective? You mean how long the class is? I mean to sign up, how long would it take you to sign up? Oh, I could probably go there this week and sign up. Oh, it's, okay. it's pretty much open, you know, as long as you sign up a few days before the class starts and I'm not working that day, then I can sign up and attend. Okay, so this is an objective you could complete before I see you again next week? Yes. Is it something that you want to do? I do. Can? Yes. All right. So let's make that. Let's make that the uh, objective. So the goal would be meeting this need for power, and, you know, because the objectives go under the goals, right? So the first objective would be selecting a class, mm -hmm. and then signing up for it. So just start with one. Okay. Then follow through with that, and then I'll see you next week, and we'll kind of move to some other objectives, Okay. kind of moving you toward meeting that need of power. Okay. Does that sound like a good plan? Yes, definitely. Right. Thanks, Maria. I'll see you next week. All right. Thank you.